these days. We're involved in the process here. Um, you know, like I said, this is uh, this is kind of my love song to the legislature. Uh, there's not going to be anything negative. Um, and I, I want to thank some people. Some of them are here with us tonight or today. But uh, Sarah Redding, my first district secretary, uh, Sarah actually is starting a new family uh, with uh, a former uh, employee of Representative McKeel's, believe it or not. So Representative McKeel and I have this odd uh, relationship where our two original uh, district secretaries are now engaged to be married. Or actually, excuse me, they are married now. I apologize. Uh, up next, Kayla Gomez. She's watching at home. Uh, Kayla, you gave me the ability uh, to know when I was headed <laughs> someplace where I was going to get caught up in a buzzsaw. Uh, and having your knowledge and experience uh, on my staff that early really meant uh, the world and uh, made me a better legislator uh, quicker. And uh, for that, I'll, I'll be eternally grateful. Uh, Alex Ring uh, and uh, Richard Wright, the next iteration of my staff. Uh, just two great guys. Alex, I'm really happy for you in your new job. Uh, and it was a pleasure to, uh, to have you work with me. Uh, and finally, where is she? Where is she? There she is. Everybody wave at Lauren. Hi, Lauren. That's Lauren Jackson. That is the woman when you drive by my spot, you say, why does Evan Jenny have a John Huntsman sticker on his car? <laughs> it's because it's not my car, it's hers. Um, so uh, yes, I am an equal opportunity employer. I will hire Republicans uh, if, they, if they're uh, like Lauren. So Lauren, thank you so much. Um, you know, when I hired you, I told you uh, I need a two and a half year commitment. Um, things changed a little bit. Um, and uh, I give you my word, I'm gonna bust my tail to win that seat back home at the very least so I can uphold that promise that you made to me and we're gonna, we're gonna stick around together for a while, I promise. Um, up next, I need to thank the Broward delegation. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, big bad Broward in the house. Um, but uh, the only time I will ever be a chair in this legislature, and it's because of you, and I appreciate it, and I blame all of you for not letting me be a chair. No. Um, but, but you guys, genuinely, Marty, everybody, uh, Hazel, every, everybody, uh, Barbara, um, uh, Jeanette, George. Um, you know, everybody in the delegation, having your unanimous, but Matt Hudson, I do apologize. It, there's a lot of us. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it means a lot. It means a lot to have your support and as legislators and as good quality legislators. Eddie, I, I'm sorry, I didn't say you because I've never seen you at a delegation meeting. <laughs> um, you asked for it, you asked for it. Don't, don't, you know me, don't engage because I'll just come, <laughs> come right at you. Um, <laughs> but I especially want to thank the staff, uh, D, who uh, moved and had the good sense to uh, retire young and, and move up north, um, uh, Faith, and of course, my favorite lady, Sandy Harris. Um, you mean the world to me. You've worked through so many delegation chairs, uh, and when you tell me how highly you think of me uh, and the job that I've done as delegation chair, uh, it means a lot coming from you because, well, you know, I, I did look at your resume before we decided to rehire you. So uh, you're the best. Um, she also uh, was the ringleader of the Prince Charming contest that somehow I won. Shame on you, every man in this chamber, if I won Prince Charming. First of all, I don't understand how that's humanly possible, but it pulled it off. What'd you say? Look at, did somebody just say, look at me? Oh, good looking man. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but, uh, but I really want to thank you, Sandy, for all the help that you've given me. It's been great having you in the suite this year. And, and thank you so very much for all the work you've done, uh, not only for me as the delegation chair, uh, but for all the citizens of Broward County. You've had a hand on every single local bill uh, that we've done for many years. And uh, not that many, uh, but, uh, but quite a few. So thank you. We appreciate it. Up next, I need to thank Larry Packford. Um, it's an inside joke with some of us. Uh, Larry Packford is an amalgam of every Democratic legislator. Uh, really, a lot of you guys, too. I, I don't understand. It's, it's not in a mean way. But we just grind, and we become this anonymous force sometimes. And, and you know, you get up, and you pour your heart out on the floor in committee, and no one picks up on it in the newspaper sometimes. You think to myself, that is the most brilliant thing that's ever been put down on paper. And I don't understand how the papers couldn't pick it up. Um, a certain senator who will remain nameless uh, in West Palm Beach. Yes, laugh, go ahead, spit, do a spit take. That'll be all right, right over your computer. Um, was introducing 
uh, a number of other legislators uh, from the local regional area and got up and said, and up next, uh, I want to introduce a, a great House member, Larry Packford. <laughs> and that, of course, is Mark Pafford, somehow. <laughs> and as Mark says, there's just a bunch of senior citizens going, I, I, I thought his name was Mark. I don't understand. <laughs> um, so to all the Larry Packfords out there, just keep grinding. It's going to be OK. You're going to keep going. Um, speak your heart, you'll end up in the paper. Don't worry about it, it comes. Uh, up next, the Democratic staff. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, we're incredibly outnumbered, and yet you still show up every day for work. I don't know how you pull it off, but you do uh, on a daily basis. Um, by name, because they deserve that much, because they don't get any credit. Uh, Durward, thank you, sir. Thank you for all your hard work that you put in. Go ahead. It's okay, this one's for us back here, we, we get it. Uh, Chris, Mark, David, Sarah, Carlos, Sarah number two, uh, thank you all. Um, Jessica, oh I did forget Jessica. Um, thank you for all the work you've done. Wait, did I forget somebody? Did I, did I forget somebody? I did forget somebody, didn't I? You know, we have the most beautiful, intelligent, sweet woman that works in that tower, and she goes by the name of Judy Mount. Now, come on now. The amount of trash you've talked to me over the six years, you gotta look at me while I talk to you, at least. Um, my dear, you are an amazing person. I can't tell you how many days I had no business walking into the caucus office just so I could come see you, uh, so you could make me smile, uh, and I could try to do the same for you. Um, you're an angel. I love you to death. Uh, up next, I want to thank all the staff, everyone that works in this building, every last one of you. I don't care if I tore some bill you worked on apart and I made it seem like it was the worst thing ever. Honestly, I respect the work that you do. You don't get paid enough. You work long hours. But the work that you do do is incredibly important to the people of this state and understand that. And that's just not our legislative staff. There's a lot more that goes into it. We have committee staff that grinds out. That redistricting staff, uh, Chairman Weatherford, uh, Speaker Desney, what's the appropriate term these days? Will, all right, I can go with that. Yeah, hey, it's like it's six years ago again, that's nice. Um, uh, but I mean, Will had, a, Will had a task, he took him around the state. Those folks worked so hard. They had to travel up and down the state. Uh, they had to leave their families and loved ones. Um, you know, and that's just one committee. There's so many more committees and so many more people working on them uh, that we just, I don't think, think of. I know the chair, uh, chair, uh, chair people, uh, chair, I want to be, what was that we said the other day, Matt Gates? Uh, we want to be uh, gender nonspecific. Um, but, uh, but everybody that works, uh, that you guys just do an amazing job for us here. Uh, everybody in house administration that, that keeps us nice and fed uh, so we can have Greek day and, uh, and have uh, lemon chicken and everything else and Sonny's uh, and Chinese day and, and, and Italian day and, and just all that good stuff. Thank you all for all the work that, that you've done. Uh, really just giving us sustenance, which I, which I appreciate on a number of levels. Um, now we kind of move into the, the assembled crowd. The assembled crowd, my friends in the crowd. Uh, up first, sweet Chelsea. Thank you so much for being my friend. Um, believe in yourself. I believe in you and you know that. And I need you to do the same thing because I know you say, oh, you can make me cry, don't make me cry, don't make me cry. I'm not making you cry, I'm telling you the truth. You're a great person, you stand on your own two feet, and you're gonna be great. And, and thank you for being my friend, more than anything. You're like, a, you're like an even younger sister than my sister, and, and it means the world to have you in my life, so thank you. Um, up next, I need to thank uh, Mr. Christian Olvert, um, and, uh, and sitting right behind him, Mr. Matthew Land. Um, you guys uh, have been great friends to me. Um, your courage, your bravery on a daily basis uh, inspires me to let me know I can do whatever I want. Uh, and you guys are my friends. You always will be. I'll always be there for you. I hope you know that. Um, you're just great people, and I, I love you both. Up next, sorry, I got to work through this list. Uh, Anna, where's Anna? Anna? Yeah, there she is. There's my Anna. Um, thank you, um, you know, for being my friend for six years now. It's been six years. 
Um, you've been there. I've watched you get your degree, move on, uh, you know, just everything that you've been able to accomplish while you're here. It's been great to watch you go from an L.A. to uh, basically running an entire agency behind the scenes. No, I shouldn't say that. Your boss probably wouldn't like that. But uh, nonetheless, thank you for everything. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, need to thank uh, Miss Jackie Sosa, literally the kindest woman I've ever had the opportunity to meet. Uh, you are so sweet and so kind to everyone. Um, you have so many redeeming factors, but that's the one that I always come back to, uh, is how kind and wonderful you are to every single person you meet. Uh, you're an inspiration. I try to get there on some days, but as my friends out here on the floor will tell you, I don't always get there. But, uh, uh, but thank you. Thank you for, for being in my life and, and making me understand what a better person uh, I could be uh, if I just acted a little more like you sometimes. So thank you. Uh, up next, uh, Jackie's roommate, Tabitha, uh, quite the odd couple. She's not out here today, but uh, I just wanted to include her as well. They're both uh, just amazing people, kind, sweet people, but in completely different ways, and I'll just <laughs> leave it at that. Uh, Avery um, in Franklin's office, who's been a great friend of mine before I was uh, there, uh, and actually in Representative Stubbe's office, who used to be uh, Representative Reagan's office, Anna Lee Morris. Uh, Anna Lee, thank you uh, for being my friend and wanting to put my cat into cat fancy. Um, sorry that didn't happen, but uh, maybe next year we can get an article written. Um, moving on down, I uh, want to thank uh, Selena. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you know how wonderful I think you are uh, and how impressive I find you uh, and just your whole story. Uh, it's been really great having you as a friend, uh, and uh, thank you. I, I, I really appreciate it. Now you can stop being nervous. Um, finally, uh, starting to wrap up, uh, need to also thank uh, Sarah Bascom. Uh